Major NFL injuries of week two is brought to you by Sportsnet Analytics. Cooper Cup comments suggest severe high ankle averages five weeks. Age 30 predicts a slow return, leaning towards a week eight return with a high re-injury risk. Isaiah Pacheco, fibular fracture. Data leans towards him being out for eight weeks with a major stats dip when he returns. Amon Ross St. Brown, contusion and cramps. Contusions can but typically don't cause missed games. Monitor for underreported MCL injury. Justin Jefferson, comments suggest a low severity quad contusion. Most commonly would practice Wednesday without a stats dip week three. Debo Samuel, strained calf. Average is two to three weeks for wide receiver. Very high re-injury risk, lean towards a week six return. Joe Mixon, video suggests a high ankle sprain. If mild, running backs often play the following week with fewer snaps. Average timeout is one to three weeks. AJ Brown, hamstring, averages two weeks. Data slightly favors missing week three. High re-injury risk for the next six to eight weeks. Evan Ingram, same injury. Data leans towards a week four return. Tua, concussion. His last severe concussion took four weeks. Not going on IR suggests a similar target. Justin Herbert, negative x-ray means no fracture. Video suggests a high ankle versus versus midfoot sprain. Can be played through in week two, lean towards playing with limited mobility. Keenan Allen, plantar fasciitis for wide receiver, up and down for several weeks. Possible to play with an injection with a high re-injury risk.